So it's October 2022. I'm doing a little video to show off my room, my collection room. As you can see, I'm just going to do kind of a quick run through. I have a lot of different collections. I've been collecting stuff for a long time. Really big into action figures uh, and Sega Genesis. And uh, I'm going to try and focus on the Sega stuff, but I did want to show some of the action figure stuff. This corner is Ghostbusters. We've got the original Ninja Turtle figures there on the shelf. These little guys are called Battle Beasts. There's some more action figures down here. My desk there. But yeah, my room is packed completely with stuff, so. There's a couple of Sega banners here. Jurassic Park and Aladdin. I actually have a lot of Sega banners and displays that I don't have on display right now just because I don't have room. Marvel Legends. I've been collecting Marvel Legends since they started in 2002. These are giant naked turtles here. Some other random toys that I really like. Mandalorian currently on display. Power Rangers. Star Wars. Attitude Era wrestling figures. And we've got some movie figures random there. Real quick show you some of the Marvel Legends that are on display. Over here, these are my Ninja Turtles, my NECA Ninja Turtles and Super 7 ones. I actually have a bunch more that I don't have out because I ran out of room. Some other stuff. This is my collection of toy store memorabilia. KB Toys, Toys R Us, Children's Palace, Kitty City. Star Trek, Futurama, Battletoads, Street Fighter. We got some real Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtle stuff here. Now this is sort of my Sonic area. You can see I have the uh, Sonic uh, McDonald's. Translite that was up on the board. It's in a custom light box there. Lots of different little figures. These are the original figures here from Tommy and the front. But yeah, I've got lots and lots and lots of different Sonic figures that I've collected. Now I, I tend to try and collect mainly uh, classic Sonic stuff. One of my favorite collections is food-related items. You can see there's the original ice cream wrapper, and we've got Sonic bubble gum, fruit roll-ups. This was Quaker Oatmeal with the Sonic, so or Sonic watch offer. Pasta, Cracker Jacks, Cookie Crisp with Sonic different Sonic prizes. This is actually a European Sonic ketchup bottle, bubble gum, lots of different bubble gums. Down here is some more classic Sonic items. So much of this is unfortunately buried. 
This is uh, some of the birthday supplies. You know, the uh, paper plates and all that kind of stuff. There's, there's banners here. and These are prize or stickers, tattoos, prize bags, treat bags. Got a couple of custom plushes there of Sally and Bunny. We've got a couple different bike helmets, shoes, school supplies, Valentine's, puzzles, you name it. Bath time, shampoo. <laughs> and then over here, this is my game gear section. I do have a complete set of US Game Gear games um, loose with the manuals and then they all I have them all boxed in uh, custom custom game case cases which are really nice they're like plastic so if you pull it out made to be like a Sega Genesis case holds the cartridge holds the manual some really cool items oops sorry. I've got a big collection of Game Gear console boxes of different variants Power Rangers pack, Lion King, sports trivia. There's lots of stuff here. And then these are my, you know, original game gears here. Blue and black came out in the US. This yellow one came out in Japan, as did this Coca Cola game gear. Let's see here. This is my. Um, original display, Game Gear display, hanging mobile. We've got a countertop display for this really cool sports radio that's right there. There was a Game Gear promotion at um, Howard Johnson. Some more Sonic stuff that's kind of bled over. This is a really cool item. It's a AC adapter, but it looks like a Game Gear. I think this is a Japanese item. But yeah, there's all the different US accessories. Both in the original style and then when they switched over to you know the purple style look. That's a Game Gear travel bag. I also have some European and Japanese games. Neo Geo Pocket. It's a small little collection of those. These are some of my custom game gears that I recapped and redid with new screens and new shells. This one is my favorite. With the custom green splatter look. I also have a couple of Game Gear customs that I made. These are the Master System games, but converted over to a Game Gear cartridge. And I made the artwork here and manual. And they, they do work. Um, there's Alien Storm, one of my favorite Genesis games. And we got that same custom green splatter glow in the dark cartridge there. Got a couple of promo items here. These are like stress balls. I'm not really sure what these came from or were given out. Uh, hat. And that's Game Gear. So we're going to move over here. On the end here, this is my Sega Sportsman jacket. 
our Leatherman jacket. Game of the year 1991. Got a really nice hat here on top. Behind here, this is a cell from the Sonic the Hedgehog animated series that's signed by Jaleel White. Some Sonic themed ties are back here. But I think this is the section you guys are gonna most be interested in, which is my Sega Genesis side here. And boy, is there a lot of stuff crammed in here. Obviously the two biggest guys here, Sonic and Tails. These were statues at Toys R Us back in the day. Um, they have been restored, not restored the best, but they still look awesome. And then obviously my Genesis kiosk here, it's playing Comic Zone. And you can see it's got the button here to switch games. This is going to be Clone Wars, which is one of my favorite X-Men games. Battletoads. Earthworm Jim. I'll put it on Sonic 2. This is, uh, they call this like a, a wing. It would, uh, it holds games and at the stores they would have a display rack with these and you could flip through them to see the games and it was locked and you would pull the games out. But I've got the six games that are on display uh, or that are on uh, the demo inside the wing there. Over here we've got the entire run of Sega Visions magazine in that rack. We've got an original Sonic 3 vinyl banner. There's some uh, <laughs> toys up here. A couple of custom action figures that I made of a Genesis and a Game Gear cartridge. Up here, there are some more hanging mobiles. One for Sonic the Hedgehog 1. And one for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic Tuesday. Over here, there is a hanging mobile for Toe Jam and Earl. I also have a promo Sonic Beach Ball here. It's hanging in the ceiling. And this is a six game cartridge hanging mobile part for the Menacer. Up here, you'll see my Golden Axe figures. There's also a Michael Jackson Moonwalker display back there that actually was on top of the arcade game. A Sonic 3D Blast tabletop display. We've got some more mini figures here. Well, Earthworm Jim statue. We got the Menacer. Sonic Mania. And there's a Taz Escape from Mars display there, kind of shoved in there. I'm going to come back to this display case, but this is an original Sega Genesis display case. And it's got some of my cooler items in there. Um, up here we have a Sega Headquarters sign. This is for my Sears store and I restored it with a new light box with LED changing. We've got Master System stuff here. Uh, we got Sega Genesis 3 with some of the accessories. The very first Genesis console with the Altered Beast game. And we got some custom action figures of Sketch Turner and Zombies Ate My Neighbors that I made. There's a Chacon action figure that was officially released. These are some little miniature games that I made to go with my action figures. And actually, 
I've used these miniature games that I make to, I've made some ornaments with the cartridges. And I also used them when I did a multi-cart. This is a custom multi-cart PCB board. And then I put these little, little game cartridges inside the clear cartridge here. That was pretty cool. Let's see here. This is my Sega CD collection. Um, I got about 100 games for the Sega CD. Very small Dreamcast collection. My love of uh, Sega is kind of during the Genesis area, era. Uh, Master System. Got quite a bit Master System there. Not nearly a complete set or anything. Got uh, this is pretty cool. This is an RC Crazy Taxi car. Got some more little figures. Those are figures for General Chaos, which is a game that came out on the Genesis. Some promo buttons. Here is a display for Sonic Mania when that came out. There's another little Sonic Mania display there. Uh, Sega Genesis Plush. That's a custom Ghosts and Goblins figure. Down here we've got some of the new Jax action figures, as well as my Sega Pico collection. I I'm, think I'm just missing one game. There's a Sega Saturn in the box, and a Genesis CDX travel bag, some Toe Jam and Earl plushes that came out for the new game. Over here, this is a custom sign that I had made of the Sega Seal of Quality. And here is a Sega Sonic um, custom marque marquee for the game. Uh, this I was from Galloping Ghost Arcade in Chicago. You know, this arcade game never came out in the U.S., so it didn't really have an official marquee, but I really liked the one that they made for their arcade cabinet that they have at the Galloping Ghost. There's a Sonic 2 countertop display where you could get it for free. I've got some video game gloves, some socks, buttons, keychains. Over on this side, here is my Genesis collection. There's another official Genesis display case and sign. I kind of have my games organized by um, type. So like all the black box games are inside the case here. And then down at the bottom are all my, you know, they're by manufacturer. So the EA games are in there. You know, you can see like, here's Flying Edge, Game Tech, uh, JVC, Can Kaneko, Koei, Konami. So you get the idea, Namco, Renovation. Seismic. And there's all the red box games. I mean, it's not the most economical way to organize them, but it looks nice, which is what I was going for. Here I have a signed picture of Tom Kalinske, who was the CEO of Sega of America in the 90s. My 32X collection up there which is uh, mostly complete, uh, except for Spider-Man, which is a reproduction, but all the other ones are original. Um, this is really cool. This is a Toys R Us ticket. You know, back in the day, you'd have to take the tickets up to the counter to pay for the game, and then they would give you the game. That's an actual Toys R Us ticket and holder. And then over here are reproduction games or custom games, homebrews, hacks, unreleased games. 
I put all these together myself and make a lot of the case artwork myself and label artwork. But I love doing these and coming up with unique custom cartridges. Some of my favorite ones are on display here. Sonic 2XL, where he gets fatter the more rings he gets. You can see there all the little junk food wrappers inside. This is a Wings of War that I did with feathers inside and actual wings on the cartridge. <laughs> and Donkey Kong 99 which was a, there's a little bananas in there. This was a Chinese <laughs> kind of homebrew recreation of Donkey Kong. And then here are like other homebrews from other makers, or, you know, some of them are official releases like Mega Man and, uh, you know, uh, I guess you could say Pierce Solar, Solar and Pepriam. But yeah, that's my collection of those. This is really cool. This was a, this is a Sega game, a Sega Genesis game genie countertop display. If I back up here, you'll see there's a welcome to the next level rug. That's a custom made rug that I had made for my my room here it's not an official one we've got some more uh, storage items here some of the little handheld handheld games and watches Ultra Beast watch Sonic watches pocket arcade this is really cool this is a little postcard I got from the Angry Video Game Nerd. I sent him some Sonic hacks that he showed off in one of his uh, videos. Up above here, Super Eric's Birthday. This was a custom game that my brother made for me. That's supposed to be me there with Mega Man body. And uh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog, but with me in the game. Little Toys R Us. Miniature up here. We've got CDX, Nomad. These are some Eternal Champions 7 Eleven Slurpee cups that came out for that. Here's some of the greatest hits Genesis games and the uh, Marl Mew Hockey Puck that was a promo giveaway. All right, I want to turn back to the case here and show some of the really cool items in here. Uh, we'll start with this Marble Madness. This was a um, production team released cartridge. That's why it's colored the way it is. It was given out to people to um, test when they were promoting the game. The Sega branded um, power strip, the activator, which never worked quite right. I absolutely love this accessory, the video game lock, the game guardian. It's not an official Sega item, but how funny is that? <laughs> uh, we got a Comic Zone promo notebook and pen. This case has a ton of accessories in it, like a bunch of different controllers, both fir both, both first party and third party controllers. They've got Genesis speakers there. There's a promo slide puzzle, the Sega Channel, and a couple Sega Channel items. They're pretty expensive Sega Channel stuff. A se Club Sega card. I'm not sure what that was, but I found it interesting. We've got a couple other items here. Sega Retail Support Fanny Pack. The infamous Maximum Carnage QVC box set. We've got a 32X um little metallic magnetic sculpture you know you can move those around um there's a ces 
mug here from Sega Winner CS93. Some more Maximum Carnage promo items there. Some pin set, a cassette tape. This is really cool. This has pictures of all the displays and signages uh, that Sega you could get from Sega if you were a store back in the day. The Sonic Times, Sega's retail news publication. Um, I have a few of these. These are really cool, you know, kind of insider information about what's coming out and what to expect from Sega in the upcoming year. All third-party controllers here. This is a really cool one. That is a Sega CD AC adapter. You don't see that one very often. Down here you can see different Genesis 2s with the different pack-in titles. I don't have every single one. There are several, but a lot of really cool ones. X-Men and Eternal Champion, Spinball, Lion King, Garfield, so Sonic uh, Knuckles, Power Rangers, Vector Man. Here's the Sega Sports Edition. Uh, there's some more console boxes there. The Capcom Fighter Power Stick for Street Fighter. Very cool. So yeah, this case is where I keep a lot of my really awesome items. Not that there isn't awesome items everywhere. Here we've got our uh, Sega CD consoles. The first one, the blue box version. And you can kind of see it there. The action system was a special one that came with Tomcat Alley. So that's a preview of the office here. I mean, I could go on and on and point stuff out. Oh, there's a Toys R Us sign that I got when they were closing. Some backpacks. More console boxes and accessories, handhelds. Lots of custom items that I just like for my collection. And there you go. Thanks for taking this room tour with me. I definitely need more space. <laughs>